don't need a high-end PC for a high-end experience. Designed for performance. Designed for beauty. This is your Skyrim. areas, weathers and seasons, landscapes, grass and flora. Let's begin. Open a browser window and navigate to Nexus Mods. Ensure you have selected Skyrim Special Edition and not Skyrim. Navigate to the mod page for Cathedral Weathers and Seasons. The importance of always reading the mod pages becomes clear with this mod as an example. If you were to scroll down the page, you will see why we removed our ENB in the previous video. Download the main file using the Mod Manager option. Download the Cathedral Weathers and Seasons update patch also to your Mod Manager. Now search for Cathedral Weathers MCM Mod Configuration menu. This will allow you to personalize the mod options to your liking when in-game using the MCM tool. Download the Cathedral Weathers MCM settings loader. This will keep your personal choices saved and load them into the game whenever you launch it. Open Mod Organizer 2. Before installing our Cathedral mods, we want to first remove any existing Flora mods that we already have installed. This will ensure our mods do not conflict with each other, which can cause clipping or texture issues in-game. It will also ensure we do not add too many environment mods of different kinds which can put high demand on your PC resources without making it worthwhile. For the complete guide followers, we have installed three environment mods we want to remove. Vados Brom Regions, Eex Renthal Flora and Eex Mountain Flowers. Cathedral Weathers has its own sky and galaxies, meaning our mod Ethereal Cosmos could be removed. However, because Ethereal Cosmos focuses on the night sky and not the weather, you can choose to have it load after Cathedral Weathers for a combination of the two. Alternatively, you can remove it as you are about to with the others. Right-click on each of these and select Remove Mod. With all three uninstalled, it's on to our Cathedral Weathers. We start with the main mod file. Double-click to install and select OK. Next, our Cathedral Seasons update patch. This patch contains a few minor fixes to the overall experience. Next up is our Mod Configuration menu. And lastly for weathers, our MCM Settings Loader. Make sure you enable these four mods by checking the boxes to the left of the mod name. The order of these four will be as we installed them. Our main mod first, then the patch for it, and any additional tweaks or settings for it, such as the MCM in our case. Select the four mods and move them up under the Environment category. If you're sticking with Ethereal Cosmos, ensure it's placed after Cathedral. Regarding the placement of these mods in MO2, as with a lot of mods, their position will likely change as your mod list grows. Understanding load order and mod priority will prove to be invaluable when it comes to your own builds. Off to a flying start. Good job. Next up, landscapes. Return to Nexus Mods 
and search for cathedral landscapes. Cathedral landscapes will provide a base for our flora and tree mods to follow. This lightweight mod is a great place to start, designed to work seamlessly with cathedral weathers. Up next, Skyrim landscape and water fixes. This mod targets pesky bugs and glitches in the Skyrim world terrain. No grass in objects will target elements in the game world that have issues with clipping, where grass will appear out of elements it shouldn't. Landscape fixes for grass mods. This is strongly suggested to work alongside no grass in objects. If you remember back at the beginning of the complete guide, after installing our flora mods, the path becomes overgrown and flora and grass started appearing through the roads and walls. The cause is likely the addition of more grass across the map, where originally it shouldn't be, or the detail and size changes made by the mods caused them to poke up out of areas they wouldn't have been seen previously. Here is another great example of reading the mod pages as what may not be clear at first are the need for patches. Download the main mod to your mod manager, but we will also need a patch for cutting room floor and alternate start. These will be listed under Arthmore's Towns patch. We will also need to download the patch for JK Skyrim. Up next, Cathedral, Water Overhaul and Bug Fixes. And to wrap up with Landscape, search for Fabled Forests on Nexus Mods. Fabled Forests was kindly suggested in a post I had made as I tried searching for a performance friendly tree mod and what a suggestion it is. Tree mods are notoriously hard on performance and it was important that the mods selected were performance friendly to allow as many to follow as possible. So download Fabled Forests to your mod manager and you can hop on back over to MO2. For their installation, we begin with Cathedral Landscapes. The faux mod will appear on screen. Leave the first option as it is and click next. As for the grass color, whilst green may appear to be more vibrant and preferred, by selecting the green grass, the cells that have loaded the grass will appear much more obvious to you compared to the ones in the distance, as the base color beneath the grass is closer to brown. Because of this, it can spoil the immersion. You can always reinstall with the other option at a later time. With blended roads, your decision will depend on your performance needs. Naturally, the really blended option is more demanding as it's more detailed. Choose which you prefer and install. Moving on to our fixes. We start with our landscape fixes for grass mods. Then our first patch, Arthmore's Towns, where you will need to manually select the options with your installed mods. In this case, cutting room floor and alternate start. This is another example of a mod that would require reinstalling should you add any of the other mods it patches later down the line. On to our Skyrim landscape and water fixes. No grass in objects. Cathedral water overhaul and bug fixes. And finally, fabled forests. For fabled forests, you will be able to choose your preference. Remember, the different options will have different impacts on your game's performance. Ensure you enable the mods by checking the boxes to the left of the mod names. And now let's move them into position. We want Cathedral Landscapes just after Cathedral Weathers, as we have to make sure our fixes are after all the Landscape and Flora mods, so they can apply the changes to them. The only exception are our patches for Landscape fixes for Grass mods, for Arthmore's Towns and JK Skyrim which we will need to place further down the list, ensuring they are after the mods they patch. It's time for our flora mods. There are a large number of these and each one focuses on a single plant type in-game. You can choose which you wish to install and which you wish to leave out, it's entirely up to you. These mods will replace the in-game plants with 3D versions, providing much more depth to the landscape and improving the overall immersion. So back over to Nexus and we want to download the following. Cathedral 3D Mountain Flowers Cathedral 3D Pine Grass 
3D tundra cotton, 3D snowberries, 3D lavender, 3D clover plant, 3D thistle, 3D death bell, 3D rocky shores, 3D sword ferns, 3D nightshade, 3D dragon's tongue, whichever color you prefer, 3D thicket and dead shrub, 3D pine shrubs, 3D solstein grass, 3D tundra shrubs, and 3D stone crop. A couple of bonus ones, cathedral mushrooms and cathedral plants. We will also want Cathedral 3D Mountain Flowers Hearthfire Patch. This will be under the Mountain Flowers mod page, under Files. These are very simple to install, simply double click and click OK. 3D Nightshade has a faux mod and there are a couple of choices to choose from, up to your personal preference. Once installed, remember to enable them by checking the boxes. Then let's move them up under environment between our fixes and cathedral weathers. As for their order, this is the perfect opportunity to play around with the priority of the flower mods and see what impact it has in game. Some will overwrite others in certain places. Just ensure you're only moving around these ones and keep the fixes and the main cathedral mods in the same location. With that done, let's sort our plugins. Navigate to the plugins and click sort. Once complete, you can close out of this window. Sorting your plugins is a good habit to get into and we'll soon be looking at installing loot for more control over our load order. The function within MO2 has been perfect for our needs so far, but as we move on, we will want to have complete control over their order by manually making changes through the loot tool. It's time to load the game through SKSE and jump into your new Skyrim. And that is a perfect time for a brew.